hey youtube welcome or welcome back to my channel thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video i just want to start off by saying thank y'all thank y'all i am so thankful i am currently at 379 subscribers almost 400 subscribers y'all but that's enough rambling we're gonna get straight into this video so as y'all see i am doing curry breakdown i did a total of 10 braids for this wig install after I braided it, I obviously put oil on her scalp because I don't know how long she's going to keep the wig going. So you want to make sure your scalp is oiled and moisturized. You don't want to have dry scalp and braids under the wig. So yes, y'all, um, oil your client's scalp. And I oil at the back because I know it can be really, um, it can be a lot of tension towards the back of the head. So the next thing you want to do is take some gel and um, brush the edges back. You want to brush the edges back so it just it just makes the the um ball cap so much easier to lay and it looks neater when the edges are pushed back out of the way yes y'all this um video is be beginner friendly because i myself am a beginner this is my first time doing a wig install my own so yes y'all bear with me we're learning together <laughs> so um y'all do not be afraid to mess up Y'all are going to see. Do not be afraid to mess up. And if you mess up, just fix it. Just fix it. It's okay to mess up because everybody makes mistakes and slip-ups is going to come when doing hair, y'all. So you just got to be willing to take, you know what I'm saying? You got to be able to, see, right here. I took it off because it was sliding back. So we redid it and we tried a new method. We put the elastic band on top, blow-dried it. And I didn't spray. I sprayed two sprays. I sprayed. Got to be the first time and pump it up the second time. The pump it up and the um, lace tint spray made it to where it wasn't um, sticking enough. So we just did uh, got to be glue spray. Put the elastic band on there. Blow dried it. It didn't. It worked the second time. So I said that to say, don't be afraid to mess up. If you mess up, it's okay. So yes, y'all. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Just cut off the excess cap. Um, yeah, you want to cut off as much as you can so it can be neat as possible and you can barely see it. What I have, all the utensils I have, I got them from the Beauty Supply Store. I got the Got To Be from the Beauty Supply Store, the shears from the Beauty Supply Store, the razor, eyebrow razor, that's what it is, eyebrow razor from the Beauty Supply Store. I will put it on the screen on what the got to be spray look like because i know some people are like what is that i never heard of that i see it's yellow but like what is it you know so i will put it on the screen for y'all so y'all can see what exactly it is and what to look for when you go into the beauty plus store so we did a total of three coats of the um of the glue it's totally up to the client on how many layers you put but we did three layers after each layer you want to make sure it's blow dry to the point where you can't see it it's pretty much clear so that's what you're going to look for blow dry until it's clear excuse me and that's when you know when it's ready to be applied when the wig is ready to be applied So she wanted a side part, so that's that's what I'm doing right now. I am giving her the side part that she wants. I know I'm talking a lot in this video, but it's a tutorial, so I have to try to explain it the best way I can for y'all to understand. Because <laughs> sometimes just looking at it isn't going to, you know what I'm saying, is it going to be enough? It's not what you need. So yeah, I'm going to try to explain it the best way that I can. And if y'all have any questions, y'all already know, y'all could just comment below let me know any questions y'all have i will answer them i always answer i always answer yes yes y'all she will not keep her head up <laughs> she kept looking down in that phone y'all y'all gotta bring the phone to y'all face and don't keep looking down as y'all see me doing here being that she wants this side part i took sections to hot comb it down so it could be a little bit more flat so Y'all see me doing it here. I part out a section, comb it. And when you comb it, kind of lay the back of the hot comb on there so it can 
give it be a little more flat. So comb and kind of lay the comb. As y'all see me, yeah. As y'all see me doing here, you know. But yes, I did that in small sections. So that can be nice and flat. Yes. Just keep on sectioning it out and keep on combing. Y'all, this color came out so cute. This is a black wig, all black. And we colored it pink. It is so cute. I love it. It's just a pop of color, you know? So, yes, y'all. Make sure y'all keep a hot comb. You can get a hot comb at Target, Beast Plus Store, Walmart. Um, pretty much any, no, I'm not going to say anywhere, but you can get a hot comb from multiple places. So here's me cutting off the wig cap. I use shears and I use the eyebrow razor. And I keep saying shears because that's, that's how you, that's the name of these scissors. Shears. That's the cosmetology term of these scissors is shears. But yeah, so enough, that's enough of me rambling. Y'all see what I'm doing here? Just cutting off the um, just cutting off the cap. Sorry, cutting off the lace. I ended up cutting off a little bit more than what you see, um, than what you see in the picture, the video. This is me putting lace tint on the cap a little bit so it can match our skin a little bit. We did not have any makeup, so I had to improvise and do what I had to do. So I put a little lace tint on it to see if it would give the same the same results. And it pretty much did. So we're gonna spray a little bit more got to be spray on it and put the elastic band on it one more time. So that the lace could just hold a little bit more. This is a process, y'all. You can't rush the process. It's going to take time for it to dry. It's going to take time for you to dry it. Unless you have a dryer and she's sitting under the dryer. And even if she's sitting under the dryer, it's still going to take time. But yes, y'all. This is a process. You do not want to rush. Because if you do, it is noticeable. So with the curls, I handmade, well... I don't know if that's how you should say it, but I use a flat iron to curl her hair, as y'all can see. I know most people have like a, a, a wine curly, a wine curler. I believe that's what it's called. A lot of people use that, but I use a flat iron. I know y'all keep seeing a lady come in and walking out. <laughs> she was waiting you know, on me to do her daughter's hair, y'all. Um, Yeah, I told her I could do it once I was finished with my client. So, yeah, she was waiting. And it was getting late and I had school. I was really, really busy yesterday. I was really busy. So, yes. Look, y'all, she wanted layers. We gave her layers. Please do not play with me. <laughs> Please do not play with Braids by Kayla. Don't play. The layers is definitely my favorite, my favorite part. The layers and the color is definitely my favorite part of this whole hairstyle. But yeah, y'all, when I do it, I kind of um, twist the flat iron backwards when I flat iron, like, away from her face, against her face, like that. Against her face. And that's what gives it the, like, when you're coming back and then you bring it to the front type look. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm hard. I can't really explain, but I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say. If you don't, I will definitely... <laughs> Try to go into more detail and show a better view. Or, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, this concludes my video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all for all the love and all the support. I just want... I'm going to show my appreciation. I'm going to give y'all something. Something is coming real soon. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, y'all, I'm definitely doing a big giveaway. I might like give away a couple hairstyles or for free. I'm not sure yet, but I'm definitely going to do something big for y'all because y'all have been with me this whole time and y'all are just helping me grow. And I just can't thank y'all enough. So, yes, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, repost. Do not be afraid to repost, y'all. So, here's the finished product. I hope y'all like it. 
And just let me know if you have any more questions. Please do not play with her. <laughs> See y'all in the next video. Talk to y'all later. Bye.